anywhere else in Canada have lived off the land in the Great Bear Forest for thousands of years. Some archaeological dating shows some settlements from 11,000 years ago. This forest is home to 26 different First Nations and about 18,000 people still live there. The First Nation group I'm going to be talking about today is the Kittasu Nation. Even though each of the nations have their own unique histories and spiritual beliefs, they are all deeply connected to the ecology of the area. It is evident that for thousands of years these people have been fishing, hunting, logging, and participating in cultural practices. Although each of the First Nation groups are different, they all share the idea that they need to preserve the land to ensure that it is able to continue to provide for thousands of years in the future for thousands of uh, other generations. These people use strategies that were unique to, to this area to survive. One method for coastal tribes to get food is to wait until the tide goes down to find clams, mussels, seaweed, and scallops. Because of, the, of this, First Nations harvest, harvesting depended on the moon cycles. Uh, these First Nations strongly believe that everything is intertwined and that there is some form of balance in nature. And the tribes also tried to live slightly far apart from one another because if too many people lived in one area, the resources would become depleted fast. The First Nations considered the spear bear sacred and believed that they had magical powers. According to some native legends, they said that the spear bear could swim underwater and lead people to magical places. They also believed that the raven made certain bears white as a reminder of the Ice Age. To honor these bears, the First Nations would create white bear masks.